March 3rd, 2017. That is the launch date of the Nintendo Switch. If you do the math, as of March 3rd, 2024, seven full years will have passed with this being Nintendo's flagship console and the only offering in their traditional home slash portable console space, and it will begin its eighth year of sales on the market. Now, if you look at Nintendo's history, you know that that is already an uncharacteristically super long life cycle for a console. Can they get 10 years out of this thing? I believe yes, but being sold alongside of their new flagship hardware that we would believe to launch next year and likely with a full across the board Switch family of systems discount that I do think Nintendo will need to move to because the Switch sales momentum is clearly dropping off of a cliff and we now have exact data to back up those claims and you know that a big month in gaming is November and December. And why is that? Well, it is Christmas season, and of course there are many people out there shopping for gifts for loved ones, and you see Nintendo do all the things that they can to advertise bundles. They haven't done a price drop, they're still not doing a price drop, although if you really scour the internet, you can find some retailers actually selling official OLED models as low as 289. Maybe there's a surplus of hardware that they just wanna move through, but it's not an official across the board discount from Nintendo by any means. And this is probably the longest we've ever seen Nintendo go without doing any kind of price cut. Granted, we are also in the only gaming generation that I can remember where we actually see consoles potentially go up in price, like the PlayStation 5 around the world outside of the US market, and even the Xbox Series consoles did see that same price increase around the globe. But we did see Nintendo put a lot of focus onto this year's holiday promotions with having more bundle options than we've seen them have in the past. Traditionally, the copy-paste bundle that they've been sticking to pretty much every year since the Switch has been available is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle, where of course you get the game included, and then somewhere along the lines, they started including three months of Nintendo Switch Online with that bundle. Well, this year we have a couple bundles with Animal Crossing on the Switch lights. We also have a Super Smash Bros bundle for the OLED, where essentially for the regular retail price of the console, you're also getting that free game. Now, while many of these bundles launch towards the end of November. It doesn't appear to be moving the needle as much as Nintendo would like, and we'll dive through the exact data as well as where Nintendo may navigate from here and what to expect for the future of the Switch, which is no doubt heading towards the end of its life cycle. But before we do that, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification to join Sunburn Nation if you're new here. And I want to show you guys the following post from Circana, which was previously known as NPD, aka a sales tracker here in the North American region, where boxed software as well as hardware sales from retail stores are all consolidated into exact numbers. And you can see this post which reads, hardware, November video game hardware spending fell 24% when compared to a year ago to 964 million. All current generation consoles experienced a double dip percentage decline in dollar sales when compared to a year ago, with Nintendo Switch showing the sharpest drop year on year. And while there is an across-the-board drop for all video game consoles, Nintendo's fell the sharpest and they finished number three out of three, coming in behind the Xbox Series line of consoles, and you should expect that at this point in time. Again, as I said in the beginning of the video, we're talking about 2017 hardware. There is a reality that at a certain point in time, the people who have had their eyes on a Nintendo Switch have already had the opportunity to purchase it. Now clearly, the Switch is going to continue to sell, but we have seen Nintendo lower their forecast this year and their fiscal year of sales, and then we saw it kind of spike up because of a massive game release known as Tears of the Kingdom, and it really did carry them through the summertime and all the way into this fall window, and since that game's release, while we have had, a, I think you could call it a massive title, which is Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and it no doubt sells very well and will continue to sell very well as an evergreen title in the Nintendo Switch library, it doesn't seem to be moving the needle in console sales the same way that Tears of the Kingdom did, where there was so much hype and anticipation around that game that potentially people who have been sitting on the sidelines and decided to skip the Switch all throughout this generation so far went and picked one up just to play Tears of the Kingdom. 
Now, Nintendo did not adjust their forecasts when we saw the increase in sales from Tears of the Kingdom, likely because they knew that this period of time was coming where even though it's the holiday season for Nintendo, sales are just down. It's also likely why we saw them go to so many different bundles this year that they have not done in past years. It's becoming more and more apparent that Nintendo knows that they are towards the tail end of the Nintendo Switch life cycle. And if you can't see the writing on the wall, look at the most recent Nintendo Dream direct where essentially everything we know in terms of new games and the roadmap of new games for Nintendo is more or less a port or remaster outside of Princess Peach Showtime, which you could say that's a big game for Nintendo. I think it will sell okay. It's not going to be any kind of blockbuster, new 3D Mario or new 3D Zelda level of sales. And I think many people know that. So outside of that one brand new fresh game, we are essentially down to ports and remasters, something that Nintendo historically does at the end of a console generation's life cycle, because of course you have to shift your developer's focus to developing fresh new games from the ground up for your next generation hardware. Whether or not you like to keep up with rumors and leaks or insider quote unquote talk, there is no doubt a lot of information, a lot of smoke in the background pointing to a fire that Nintendo has been sending out switch to development kits. We're seeing all this weird stuff pop up with a lot of third party and first party games that Nintendo has recently released or is about to release have colored buttons for the layout of the controller. There's a ton of buzz online suggesting there's some kind of January blowout event that's coming for the Nintendo Switch 2. I am not bought into that myself. I would love to see it happen, but there's no source for that particular rumor other than I think an account on Twitter that basically just said, rumor Nintendo Switch 2 blowout in January, and that's like literally what we have to go off of by it. So I don't think we see it January personally, but when it does come to March of 2024 and onward, I think it could drop at any point given time in terms of a reveal and then we might see nintendo do something that they haven't done so far which is a shorter window from console reveal to release they did six months for the nintendo switch from reveal to release we might see them go to three four or five months this time as all of the reports are pointing to if nintendo can do the production that they want to do they are keen on the idea of launching the switch to or the successor to the nintendo switch sooner rather than later and this is something that Furukawa has been very vocal about that they've been concerned about the transition from their very successful Nintendo Switch ecosystem of consoles to the next generation. They're taking it very seriously and when the writing is on the wall in the holiday season that the end is near because you're not selling anywhere near the amount of consoles that you did last year, are we at that drop-off point where yes, the Nintendo Switch will continue to sell three to five million a year or something like that, but not have those massive blowout years and Anymore, we might be at that point and Nintendo doesn't want to continue to have investor meetings with year on year decline and month over month the thing is trending downward at some point you have to move on to new hardware and clearly Nintendo has been planning for this moment in the background it's not something they're doing a knee-jerk reaction to it is just something that we now have sales data to support the idea that the end is near for the Nintendo switch in the holiday season of 2023 and we have a roadmap of games that clearly spells out Nintendo those plans to transition to next generation hardware I believe in 2024 is the most likely year but I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video your personal thoughts and opinions on when you think we'll see Nintendo transition from the Nintendo family of systems that they have today to a next generation console do you think it's coming early 2024 for the reveal do you think it's going to launch later in the year like maybe a fall or even holiday season 2024 timeline do you think that maybe Nintendo might do a early year March type of reveal and then we actually see it as soon as the summer like a May June or July and will 2024 also be the year that we see a discount to the current family of switch systems I personally believe we could see that alongside the launch of the new next gen hardware maybe the OLED goes to 300 from 350 the base model gets priced down to 250 until it sells out and then it's not a skew anymore for Nintendo and the light might go down as low as 150 but regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already also make sure you like subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video